everyone and welcome to the Bush Block Homestead. Today we're not at the Bush Block, we're at in town, a place in town and I thought I'd show you at the aquaponic system. So here's a homemade aquaponic system, it's just using 1000 litre IBC containers. I've got one there being used as a sump tank with the pump in and this one here is the fish tank and I've got four other containers which are the gravel beds that have been cut so here we've got some cherry tomatoes just starting here we've got mint going wild we've got chili that's a very hot chili that one I can't remember what type it is or over the back we've got oregano and we did have lettuce in there but we don't have much there at the moment in that fourth bed so if we have a look in the sub tank we've got a pump in there 240 volt pump down the bottom which pumps and it distributes to four different tanks to, to the four different grow beds and that fills these grow beds and then they siphon using an auto siphon setup which is just we take that there inside it's three quarter inch pipe I might take it out so that's the auto siphon setup uh, it's 25 mil pipe actually with an, an adapter on top so you can see the water level in there, I'll let that drain down. So basically we've got this 100 mil casing, it's got holes drilled all in it. That's basically just to keep the gravel back. The height of this sets the height of our what our water level will get to in the bed. So how that actually works. The water level gets up into here and drains over so that'll set the water level and then we have this pipe over top which is sealed so once that slips over top it creates a vacuum and the water is sucked in to these bottom holes and that actually drains the bed until the water level hits these holes and it sucks down and breaks the suction and then it fills back up and it it's automatic just fills and drops the tank which is a good system no moving parts and basically maintenance free so I'll put that in and then the water level will come up to that and we'll start filling over spilling over into that section so there we can see our water level is almost up to the top there and that's the drain point, so we'll wait until that starts flying over, which should be very soon. And there, the water level has just started to flow over. You can see that coming out of the drain back into the sump tank. So that would stay at that level. Now if I put this external tube on, it will start sucking from the bottom and create a vacuum and that will actually cause the tank to dump its water. So we watch the outlet, it shouldn't take long and that will start dumping the water at full flow. There we go, we started to dump, we go back up here, see our water level is going down, so it's sucking all that water up through the bottom of that outside container, and once that water level gets down to those holes, it'll start to suck air and break suction, and then the, the bed will refill.
looks like it's almost there. It'll start sucking air. There we go. Starting to suck air now. Just drop, drop suction and there we go. So now the tank will refill and it'll repeat the process over and over all by itself. Well this is our main fish tank. So we have in here also some aerator lines. Put some more oxygen in the water for the fish. And that also gets aerated when the water dumps in here. This is the outlet back to the sump tank. This is just a stainless steel mesh screen to stop any excess food or actually fish getting into the pipe, which I've had problems with before. That's why I put the screen there. And in each tank, I've actually got two 12 volt pumps, which are a backup system if the grid ever goes down. And we'll have a look at that now. Okay, well this is our 12 volt backup system. So basically all it is, is a 240 volt relay, which is when we have 240 volts, the relay contacts are held open, and a battery charger. So we've got our battery down here in a battery box. So if we ever lose grid power, the relay contacts drop and connect and the 12 volt pump pumps in the tank kick in and aerate the water to keep the fish alive while we've got no power and then when the power comes back on the relay disconnects the 12 volt pumps the battery charger turns back on and charges the battery back up so at the moment the battery charge is on and the battery is in a float state and that relay because it has power, the contacts are open. So, basically I have power there and all that is powering is the relay and that battery charger. So if I turn this off, those contacts now have dropped. So here we are back at the tank. And you see that flowing, that's coming from the 12 volt pump. And also if we go over to here, that flow there is from the 12 volt pump. So it's actually aerating the water in the tank to keep the fish alive. The bubbler is 240 volt as well, so it's not working at the moment. So that'll keep running until the grid comes back on. And then the 12 volt pump will switch off, the aerator will come back on and the aquaponics system will go through its normal operation. So I'll go turn the 240 back on. Oh, you can see up here, we've got no water flow anymore because that's coming from the 240 volts. So here I'll turn the power back on. We've got our battery charger charging once again and the relay is active so he's holding the contacts open and disconnects the 12 volt. They're basically um, boat bilge pumps. So yeah it's a simple 240 volt power monitoring monitoring system it's just a yeah a relay with the contacts are held open with 240 and drop if you lose power. So, very simple setup, but works effectively. Okay, the fish I've got in here are called Jade Perch or Baku Grunner, which is a native Australian species. I did also have some Silver Perch, but at the moment I've only got uh, these Jade Perch left, so 
We'll put the net in and see if we can catch some and give you a look. What do we got? Oh, we've got a little one in. Oh, a couple. So I won't leave them out too long, but there's your couple of little jade perch. I'll put them back in. And we don't want to stress them too much. Stuck in the net. There we go. So this system's about two years old. We've already harvested some fish out of there. Oh, probably 12 months ago now. I plan on doing another harvest around Christmas time. So this is basically a test system and hopefully on the bush block we'll have a a lot bigger system. So aquaponics is good for growing leafy greens, lettuce. We've got some box soil coming back up here. We've had a good crop of corn in here. Uh, we tried growing a coffee tree but that didn't work too well. We've replanted that into a pot and it's come back. So maybe it just doesn't like the wet roots. But yeah, leafy greens, corn grows well, you know, lettuce, all that sort of thing. So, and it doesn't use that much water. Once you've filled up your tanks, it basically recycles all its water. And I just top it up now and again for evaporation. So thanks again for joining us on the bush block and, and we'll see you next time.